Um, we about to install new bees into the two new hives that we have. And these um, we went to pick up yesterday from a bee supply up in North Georgia. So we're going to open this up and dump it inside this new beehive right here. We left two frames out the middle so we can dump it in and then put the frames back once we dump the bees in. So we're going to open this up first. So what we did first is um, spread the outside with some of this sugar water mixture. There's some sugar water mixed with this. Um, it's called Honey Bee Healthy. Uh, it has some essential oils, some other stuff to help the bees um, start off right. When you first take the lid off, you have this a silver can that's on top. It's full of sugar water. So when they ship it, the bees will be able to be fed and then transit until they get to the location. So what I'm going to do now is um lift this can out of here and look for that queen bee. Make sure I'm spreading real good so they won't fly away. Yeah, it was her. So, this little thing here I'm pulling on is where the queen is in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift this can out of here. I wish I had a magnetic thing. Take it close. Hmm? Take it close. Yeah. So if you're thinking about getting these, you can have it shipped to you in a box like that. And once you get it, I'm gonna show you how to install it. Now the issue is trying to get that can out of there. And once I pull the can out, she's gonna spray the bees, keep the bees from flying away. There's your queen bee inside his little cage. You can stick that in between the two frames so they can release her. So what are you supposed to do? Come on, B, get off my hand. Oh Lord, don't stay me because I ain't got no gloves on. Okay. I'm going to pull this cork out right here and behind that cork is some candy. And what the bees are going to eventually do is eat through that candy to get the queen out. So right now I'm trying to carefully get that cork, cork out. And there it is, it's out. So I'm going to stick this inside the hive like this so they can release the queen down into the hive. Now I'm going to just turn it and just dump this inside the hive like this.
push these down inside the hive. Okay, leave that right there. And I got some juice for them. Bring it back in the middle. Small box on top. This is an empty super we're gonna put on top so we can feed sorry. So we can feed them. Hmm? We'll put this in here so the bees can finish coming out. No, they follow the plan. Thing, but just any bees that's left out, they'll stay around the hive wherever they smell the queen pheromones at, and they'll stay around until they have to get inside the hive. So let that stay like this. So put the lid on top. Oh, got a lot of girls outside here. Trying to clean them so far. Looks like I can pick them up, get them in here. You can see right here, the only opening I have in this side right here, mm -hmm. I close up with a cotton ball and let's go three days until they release the queen and come back and check. And once you release the queen, I'm going to open it, the hole up, and they're going to come out and do um, orientation flight to determine where they're at so they can know where their home's at so they can come back. So that's all how you install one hive, and then we can do the second hive the same way. Okay, here we go again, once again. Brady's mm -hmm. bag, we'll make sure they stay in place. Assistant, my wife, so she's gonna help me get these bees in this hive safely. Okay. Like I said, again, this is kind of sugar water that they ship with the bees so you can keep them alive during the, um, during the transit. Oh, those smashing some bees. Oh. Put that can right there so I'm gonna continue eating. Down again. again, here's the second queen. Then box, she's in there. You can see her long body, so I'm gonna stick her in there. But I gotta take the cork at the bottom again. I normally have gloves on, but it's kind of awkward to stick gloves on. I can't do these, uh, do what I need to do with the gloves on. 
again there's a hole there but it's a piece of candy hard candy sugar candy and they'll eat through that they'll release the queen in three days we'll drop her down in here Just in case you're wondering, three pounds of bees roughly come inside each crate or each um, basket. Okay, we're going to put this inside the box like we did the other ones. Make sure they are. I'm going to let you look inside the hive. Uh, let's see here. See all of them inside the hive. So we're gonna um, put the two frames back in there and let the uh, bees release the queen. I gotta spread them out there in the way on the bottom so I can spread them out. And the empty box on top so can um house the feeder. Come on, girl, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, that's all it is installing new bees. Like I said, the ones on the outside, they'll stay around the hive because they know where the queen is at and know her scent. And they'll stay around the hive until I um, open up the front of the beehive. And that's going to not be into three days. So I'm glad to get my two hives back. Hopefully this year we have a whole 
um, a bounty for our honey flow. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, ask any question you want to at the bottom.